Hello children, welcome back to your science class. Hope you had a good summer break. Today, we are going to discuss chapter 9 of your NCERT textbook that is soil. So, let's begin the lesson. Before understanding what soil is, um, let us first revise what are natural resources. Natural resources are those resources that are present far before the life existed on earth. There is no human involvement in their formation. They are naturally present and support the existence of life. Here in the image, you can see the natural resources present around us. They are the water, the forest, rocks, minerals, soils, animals, etc. So these are the natural resources. And soil is one of the most important essential natural resources. So now coming to the main topic of our chapter, soil. What is soil? Where is it present? How is it formed? What does it contain? Let us find answers to all these questions by getting into the chapter. So, let us begin with the introduction. As we have already learned what are natural resources, soil is one among those essential and important natural resources. Soil supports vegetation, holds water, minerals, nutrients, etc. Soil gives a strong support and grip to the roots of the plants, which we call anchorage. You all are aware that these roots present in the soil transport water and minerals to the entire plant. Soil is the home for numerous organisms. It contains a huge number of microorganisms. It is the main platform for the plants to grow. We will further discuss more about these soil organisms. Coming to soil in relation with agriculture. You all know where do we get the food from. Yes, by farming and this is also called agriculture. It is the most ancient and living style of many people and for agricultural purposes soil plays a key role children as the rainy season is fast approaching we can remember the fresh fragrance of earth after rain that is due to the fragrance from the soil now Soil teeming with life. What is the meaning of teeming? Teeming mean, means be filled with. That means completely involved with it, within it. That means wherever you look around, whatever you see is made up of soil. You see things and objects made of soil. Each and every living and non-living being is made up of soil. It is also a home for several living organisms. In the image you can see that there are several living microorganisms present in the soil. These help in decomposing the dead organic material. Uh, they consume certain inorganic materials and keep the soil clean and pure. And that also serves their purpose of day as its home. So in the image, you can see that 
healthy topsoil that means the core of the earth is home to all sorts of soil enriching creatures which includes fungi bacteria worms spiders mites etc so all the living organisms that are born out of soil are made of soil and as their home certain organisms uh, consider the it, the soil as their home and these are the plants microorganisms round worms plant mites millipedes centipedes these are the black organisms that crawl on the ground most of you might have observed it many times the snails and obviously earthworms that come out of soil to the surface during the rainy season as their holes get filled up with water so here in the following image you can see the soil food web that means the network of soil living organisms that are interdependent on each other for their food and survival for example the plants grow in the soil and for them the food is the organic materials present in the soil and these org uh, organic matter is formed by the dead fungi bacteria and nematodes these are dead by means what is the cause of their death usually these are fed with some a uh, little bigger organisms like the cockroaches beetles etc and these are the food for certain birds certain animals yes so all these are interdependent in life and if uh, one of these organisms extinct from the nature it will be a very big natural crisis not only the small microorganisms here you can see that uh, animals like rabbits snakes ants etc also construct their burrows holes colonies in the soil that means soil is the most essential purpose of living for numerous organisms till now we have discussed the soil to be the most essential natural resource for the existence of life but what are we doing with it means we are saying that soil is very essential for life but we are maintaining it the same way as we got it no we are throwing the plastic polythin etc into the soil which are non degradable that means they do not mix up with the soil that we should stop throwing these plastic bags and bottles into the soil and start trying to reuse them yes and for the agricultural purposes also we are using these chemical fertilizers the pesticides which are both harmful for the plants the soil and the organisms which later feed on these plants yes and the soil becomes impure so we should mostly stick to the organic manure for a better yield of the crop instead of using these chemicals so children it is in our hands to avoid pollution and save the earth so in today's chapter we have introduced the topic soil and we have understood how soil is essential for life based on these uh, knowledge and the knowledge in the previous knowledge we have let us do certain activities here there is a table in which you can see that the rows and columns explain that you might have seen the several types of soils like the garden soil the soil from the road side soil where from the place where construction is going on 
soil in the agricultural land the sand or soil in the deserts yes here you draw a table in your notebook and list out the plants animals and any other substances you have found in these soils just you have observed till now you have experienced them till now that is your first activity and your second activity will be list some uses of soil as we have already discussed in the beginning of the chapter that soil serves several purposes so what is the use of this soil and the third activity is list few environmental days and understand their importance as we are trying to protect the mother earth yes because we are polluting it very badly and for that uh, for creating awareness there are several environmental days so you will list few environmental days that we celebrate and you have to understand their importance if possible you can write a slogan for each of these environmental day purpose okay children we will continue this chapter in the next class thank you